You could tap on the lymph node and it'll tell you station 7 lymph node. And one of the things that you'll notice is that on CAT scan it looks like one big lymph node, but on EBIS you see most nodes are very, you know, multi-lobulated and they're small, small little nodes. So depending on how I'm rotating, I'll see the same lymph node, right, in multiple planes. Um, so, you don't see really. No, you, you, you don't want to. Um, and it is too far to the left of the screen. That's too far caudal, and I need to push my bronchoscope caudal to bring that into place, right? Because now my needle is cranial. Right this is cranial. This is cranial. Yes. Okay. So once I line up my lymph node in the cranial caudal plane, I rotate counterclockwise and clockwise to see where it is, and that's actually a nice one because I can go deep mm -hmm. and sample both. I will hold up my hand and my system oh, will give me the needle. And they have to become familiar with this needle. That's right. Can you explain about that? Um, yeah. Centimeter for the big lines, half centimeter for the short lines. So one, two, three, four centimeters. Right? So this is two centimeters. Right? So the lymph node itself is probably, you know, 1.75. Right? So my needle is out. Um, the needle comes with a stylet. So I'm going to want to take my stylet out. And what I usually do is jiggle the stylet. I bring it back and forth a centimeter, take the stylet out, I'll attach a syringe, and attach the syringe, we apply suction, and then I'll go in and out of the lymph node with the needle. Before the after the suction? At, while the suction's on, uh, we didn't uh, take the stylet out. And suction off? Right, I do this several times, take the suction off, off. I pull the needle back with my hand in neutral position, pull the needle back, most important, until it clicks, right? Because I still see the needle there. I have to pull that back until it clicks. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. The needle is out, is, is in now? How do, you see? How do you block the needle? So I just pull it back like this. This is the needle? Yeah. And the sheet? Don't, you don't have to worry about the sheath. Just pull the needle back until it clicks, undo the slide lock, and pull this out. Okay. And then we have to process the specimen, right? And you can see a little bit of... It has already gone into the needle. Right. And then you have a saline or formalin. So this is the needle? Yes. Which is not really... Yeah. And you'll, you'll see that on the other station. That's the sheath. Oh, okay. And you, you'll see that more with the real needle. Okay. You know. okay. Please. So what? It could test you, right? Start a little thing with your. You introduce that. Mm -hmm. Like Can. that. Like that. Can. Yep, but straighten out. So yep, there we go. Let's go open the left hand. <laughs> Good, epiglottis. So, so let's give a little bit of versed. Yes. How do I give the versed? Because we're hypertensive. Okay. Okay, we give a little fentanyl. Great. And hopefully the blood pressure will improve. Patients anxious and agitated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're looking endoscopically. And did we freeze the EBUS image here? Yeah, it's near this button, freeze the sleep. Ah, there we go. Okay. And it saves this. Oh, it's a real. So, Good. Where so there, there's main carina. Okay. And for example, let's do station 4R. Okay, so for station 4R, I go into the right main bronchus. But you see what happens here. Even though you were turning right, it went down the left main bronchus. And the reason for that is if this is the probe of the EBUS, your vision is 30 degrees anterior oblique. Right? So you look like you're going down the right main stem bronchus, but it goes down the left. And because of that, I usually like to back into the airway. So if I want to go in the right main bronchus, I turn counterclockwise, push my thumb up, and then my probe goes down the right main bronchus. Always works. Yeah. Right, so there's right main bronchus, right? So turn counterclockwise. No, other way. There you go. Push your thumb up. Turn more counterclockwise. Yeah, thumb up, 
Uh, on the and opposite then you way. go back into the main. On the yeah, opposite exactly. Way of, mm, exactly. So now come back to 12 o'clock, right? And thumb down. You know, stay at 12 o'clock here. Thumb down. Good. And then you see the pulmonary artery and the superior vena cava. And then come back a little bit. No, no, keep that. Come, yeah, right here is station 4R. Okay. okay, that's where 4R lives. That's the textbook place of where 4R lives. I always go down the right main bronchus at 12 o'clock, push my thumb down, I see pulmonary artery, come back a little bit, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, I see 4R and SVC. And if you look at the casket, you see why that is, right? So if I go into the right main stem bronchus, I see pulmonary artery, right? My EBUS probe at 12 o'clock, I see pulmonary artery like a circle. As I come back, I see station 4R and the superior vena cava is like a tube, right? So here's station 4R. Okay. So I'm going to come around this side and I'll be your assistant. Okay. okay. So now you need to put your thumb in neutral position yeah? and then we'll put this on and your assistant is going to need to know how to use the needle, right? So this goes on and gets locked into place. We turn the gray knob and we'll put the sheath out just a little bit, right? I lock the gray knob in place. You put your thumb down and we should see 4R. So 4R is this way, right? And that's cranial, right? So you have to come back cranial a little bit. You're in perfect position now, right? So you're, you, you like where you are? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so advance the bronchoscope a little bit. Advance. Forward. Forward, just a little bit. Ah, oh, beautiful. Love it. Right? So then what we would do is we would drop this to two centimeters, and I would get ready to stab. So I pop into the lymph node, and what you see what happened is I went through the far side, and that happens sometimes. So you come back a little bit into your in the lymph node. I will jiggle the stylet. So stylet out, and which button? Stylet's out. So then I will apply my attach my syringe, and I apply suction. And then yeah, no. Move the How do you move it? No, I'll show you in just a sec. So I yeah. apply. Yep, suction is on. And then we move the needle in and out like this. Okay. All right, in and out. I, I want to take nice long passes. I don't want to come too far out of the lymph node. I want to, don't want to go too far distal. We want to take the sample from the lymph node. Exactly. And if we rotate, we might be in the middle of the lymph node. There we go. Ah, that's better, right? So we moved a little bit, right? So take nice long passes in the lymph node. I turn my suction off. I take my needle back until it clicks, and then I take the needle out, and then I take my needle out. Good, and you've sampled 4R. And what's beautiful about this program is it will tell you if you've got lymphocytes, if you've got granuloma, if you've got tumor, <laughs> how many passes that you've done, if you've punctured the blood vessel, if you've damaged the bronchoscope, and it gives you a whole score. Oh, but you didn't damage the bronchoscope. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah.